Strapi is an open source headless content management system for building easy and manageable APIs. One of the beauties of Strapi is that it has a pre-built UI that allows you to create your API as if you are filling an online form. Also, Strapi has support for database management systems like MongoDB, Postgres, and SQLite. My duty in this video is to guide you through the process on how to create your own custom plugins in Strapi. Without much delay, let's get started. So I have my terminal opened up right here on my Mac computer. To get started, you need to confirm that you have Node.js version 14 installed. So once that is confirmed, uh, we're going to head over to run the Strapi installation command. So this command will now prompt us to choose the installation type for our Strapi project. Uh, Strapi provides us with two types, uh, the quick starts and the custom uh, type. So uh, the recommended type to use um, is the quick starts, which we're going to use for this project by hitting the return key. So uh, this now will create the necessary folders and uh, files and also set up a, a Node.js project for a uh, Strapi application. And this will also install the uh, dependencies required to run this application and then um, it will take a little bit of time. So I'll have to pause this video and continue right after the installation. So the installation has completed and Strapi has successfully uh, built an admin UI uh, for us. Uh, all of this happens automatically and Strapi opens up uh, the admin UI in your browser. So you are required to sign up before uh, you are able to use it. So I'm going to create a new user. I'm going to call this uh, tests. So uh, I'm going to choose the secure password. And, uh, so uh, Strapi will save um, all these records uh, in an SQL database in your um, local um, computer. So let's go ahead and create our first content type. Let's call this blog. Strapi will then provide you with um, some input types to enable you to select the fields that um, you want to appear in your collection. So uh, for this blog collection, we would want um, a title field uh, a body, a description, and then um, a cover. So uh, let's start uh, with the title. So uh, this will be the title of the blog. And then you can also select the type of the input field. Uh, this could be a long or a short test. So uh, let's go with the short test. And then click uh, the add another field button to uh, also add other fields. Then uh, we also need the body, which will be a rich test. Uh, the richest feed allows you to um, have um, markdown features on your input feed so you can um, easily format um, your your blogs so uh, let's call this uh, the body they add another field uh, now we need a description so the description uh, might be long uh, so let's um, uh, make this a long test Finally, let's um, add um, the cover, which will be a media. And then you can also choose to uh, allow uh, this feed to upload multiple uh, medias or a single media. So we are going to choose single media. So each blog will have a single cover image. Then let's hit uh, the finish button. So right here, you can see that um, our fields has already been created for us. So let's go ahead and then hit the save button. So uh, by hitting the save button, uh, Strapi will reload the server and generate the API endpoints uh, for this collection. So to check that out, let's head over to our terminal. Uh, we we'll use um, Control C to quit the server. Then um, open up this uh, the project um, in your favorite, uh, favorite uh, test editor. So uh, for me, I'm using VS Code. So I'm going to change directory into the project folder. And then open this up um, in VS Code. So right here in VS Code, uh, let's expand this a little bit. So as you can see right here in our VS Code, Strapi has generated the necessary folders and the configuration required for this project. So let's go over to the SROC folder and check out our API. So we can see in the API directory, we can see uh, the collection type that we have created. And also Strapi generates um, other subfolders uh, like the content types 
controllers, routes, and the services. So uh, if we open up um, the controller, uh, the content types, we should see uh, in the schema file that um, all the fields that we define in our collection are, um, are also here. And uh, we also need to do a modification here. This um, the cover allows us to uh, upload files, videos, and audios uh, which are not required. So we only need images here. So we should remove other methods. All right. So here in our controllers, uh, since we are our uh, uh, Strapi interacts uh, with um, the methods that are created in our services to uh, perform a particular action. Let's head over to the terminal and then um, run the application once again. npm run develop. So since you are going to be making some changes uh, in the project, you are going to add the dash watch flag. So this will enable us uh, to hot reload the server whenever a change is made uh, to the project. So uh, let's go back to the browser. And uh, also to uh, be able to test out um, this API, we need to go to settings, uh, roles and public to uh, grant uh, the user's access, public access to uh, our endpoint. So you can see that Stapi has already created all the endpoints, the create, find, update, delete, and then the find one. So uh, to grant uh, public access to these endpoints, we need to just check the select all and then um, Right here, I'm going to click the save button. So uh, I'm going to open up a new tab and um, navigate to localhost. Uh, this is 1337. So I'm going to go to slash API slash blocks. So as you can see here, uh, we don't have any blog yet um, in our, our collection. So let's go ahead and create one. So I'm going to head over to the content manager and uh, click on the create new entry. So uh, say test blog the title. So uh, this is the body. So like I said, uh, uh, the rich test also allows us to add some formatting to this so we can uh, make this to be a bold test and so let's go ahead and add a description and then also uh, we can select a media and then upload that so uh, let's go ahead and save the plot. So um, for us to be able to um, have access to this blog, we need to also um, publish it. So if you go over to this uh, tab and then refresh, uh, we should see uh, that blog that we just created. Now let's head over to the terminal and create a custom plugin. So uh, I'm going to quit the server again and then run the uh, generate command, strap generate command. So uh, this command will uh, prompt you to select um, the generators uh, that you want to create. So uh, we need to create a plugin. So uh, next we need to choose the name for this plugin. Uh, let's say it's this first plugin. Okay, so uh, these are generated the plugin uh, for us. So we need to copy uh, this code then in our VS code, over to the config folder, uh, then create a new file. Plugins, uh, this should be called plugins.js. So then we'll paste our, our configuration. So right here, you can see that um, uh, the result property points to a folder where uh, the plugin is located in our project, uh, which is uh, the plugins directory. And then uh, you can see that uh, we have a folder uh, with the same name of our plugin. And then also Stapi generates uh, two other subfolders, the admin and the server. So uh, the server is where um, all our server-side logics are being implemented. 
So uh, you can see that we have um, the content types, uh, the controllers, the middlewares, policies, routes, and, uh, and service. So um, you can go ahead uh, right here and um, implement um, all your reusable methods for uh, this plugin. And then also um, right here in the controllers, you can also um, use uh, those uh, methods in your services. Right here, I can see Srapi has one already generated for uh, created for us. So uh, and then we also have the routes. So in the route is where you create uh, the endpoints for um, all the endpoints for your uh, plugins. So as you can see here that we have um, in the controllers that uh, we had a method um, index. So we are Strapi is trying to assess uh, that uh, method in the uh, in the routes. So once a user uh, sends a request to uh, this endpoint, it's going to call uh, this action. So over here in the admin, uh, this is where you create uh, your React components and then the UI to, that will be displayed for uh, uh, for the plugin. So right here you can see we have other plugins here, uh, the content type builder and the media. So uh, this is uh, this UI here, see here, um, is configured on uh, the admin folder. So you can see we have the components, uh, we have the pages. So Strapi has one already created uh, uh, for for us. So uh, let's go let's back to the terminal and then, so uh, we need to um, build this project so that um, Strapi will be able to create uh, our plugins and make it available for us. So we need to run the npm run build command to uh, rebuild the project. So uh, once the build is completed, let's go ahead and then uh, run the project again. So if we should go back to uh, the project and refresh, so we should see that plugin that uh, we just created. So and then right here, uh, we can't see this uh, properly because I'm using the dark, uh, the dark team. So you can see that page here. Uh, in the admin so if you should make any change here and then rebuild uh, the change will uh, reflect on, on the plugin all right guys thank you for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel and i also have the link to the strapi documentation in the description below feel free to learn more about strapi and see you in the next video